hello friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will be watching how to create real time chat application using signalr in asp.net core so what we have here is we have a asp.net core project and we are trying to implement signalr and we are trying to create a chat app using this okay so i will just show you how the messages will be sent and received in this chat application using signalr okay so um, First of all, we will just see how it is working. Okay, so I will just run the application. So this application is basically based on ASP.NET Core 6.0, but you can apply the same solution in ASP.NET MVC and ASP.NET Core also, like 3.1 version. Okay, so now I have just run the application. Okay, so you can see we have two text boxes here, user and message, and then we have one send message button. Now what I will do is I will open up the same URL in one another browser. Okay, so because then only you can test uh, send message functionality over here. Okay, so this is the second browser and this is the first browser. Okay, so from first browser, I will just say browser one and I will say send message one. Okay. Now I will click on send message and you can see the message is visible here that you have sent the message. Now we will open the second browser and here also you will see that the message is refreshed. Okay, now from here I will just type browser 2 and here we will type send message 2. So uh, I will just uh, minimize the screen so you can have a look at that in the real time. Okay. So I will just, so you can see the right one is a different browser and left one is a different one. So when I click on send message, you can see that it is refreshing at both and at the same time. So this is how SignalR works that uh, whenever you send anything, then uh, it will be refreshed everywhere at the same time. Okay, so this is how SignalR actually works. Now, how this is working is that we will check now. Okay. So first of all, what you have to do is you have to install package Microsoft.ASP.NET-Core.SignalR.Client and that is for client for ASP.NET Core. Okay. So you have to install that package in your application and after installing that package, what you have to do is you have to go to program.cs in ASP.NET Core 6.0 or startup.cs in ASP.NET Core 3.1. Okay. So in the file you have to type builder.services.addsignalr you can add to services in uh, earlier version of asp.net core also okay so uh, you have to use dot add signalr now this will create a signalr service okay that you can use later okay now the second important thing is uh, to configure the endpoints now this is you have to done in both uh, asp.net core older versions and also the new version okay so now this chat hub is basically a file that we have here in the models. Okay, so I have created this chat hub file. Now this chat hub will be uh, inherited from hub. Now this hub is basically provided by SignalR library. Okay, so it will be the basically the endpoint for all the SignalR messages. Okay, here we have created one method send message and it is passing two parameters user and message and then it is calling clients dot all dot send async now what this line actually means is that uh, wherever the signal are will be collect connected or at all those instances it will be calling that receive message method and it will be passing these two parameters okay so we will see later where this is created okay so but for now we are just creating one send message method and we are sending the messages received on the this receive message method okay so now we will go to our uh, html part here we have two controls that you can see okay and then we have called two libraries signalr js okay and then we have called one js file chat.js now this chat.js is here okay so the first important thing is you have to create a connection for signalr now here it will have to be the same path that you have mentioned in the program.cs file okay so same path will be here and then the signal are will be collected to that hub okay 
now uh, it will we have to create uh, one method over here for receive message now this receive message is the same that we have mentioned here okay so basically when you will call this line it will go to this method okay and uh, here what we are doing is we are picking the user and messages from here and we are appending to the and uh, ally and that's how your message is showing on the screen okay now uh, this is for sending the message so when you click on send message button then what it is doing is uh, it is invoking the send message method now this send message method is basically it will look inside this chat hub file okay so chat hub file have one send message method okay you can see that and we are passing the two parameters these are the parameters the user and message that we are receiving here okay so basically how a signal works is that you have to call one method for uh, like uh, starting the signal R and one method will be there uh, which will be refreshed on that signal R call okay so this will be the sender uh, method and then there will be the receiver method okay so this is how you actually can create your signal R uh, chat application okay now about uh, this code you can actually get this code easily we will provide you the way okay so what you have to do is you have to go to our official website codemite.com and there on the right side of this uh, where you have seen top trending here you will go to and and uh, here you will see build real time applications with signals are in the sp.net code you can click on that and uh, there you will see download attachment button over here so you can just click on download attachment so when you click on that uh, uh, you will be pre presented with this pop-up you can subscribe the channel if you like the video and uh, if you don't like the video still you can download the code easily so no worries about that you can click on continue with downloading and it will start downloading of the code and this is the same code that i have showed you in the video so you can test that and let us know if you face any issue so thanks for watching guys and the link will be provided in the video description so thanks for watching and take care